At E3, we announced the Xbox Elite Wireless Controller coming out this holiday, and fan excitement has been over the top. The controller gives you the option to interchange the thumbsticks, the D-pads, and on the back of the controller, you have paddles that you can reprogram, and hair trigger locks let you fire faster. So at E3, we talked about the app at a high level. Today, we're gonna to talk about some specific features that you haven't seen before that let you see how you can basically set up the controller in virtually an unlimited amount of ways. So within the app, you can create and edit customization profiles that let you set up the controller the way you want it for basically any gaming scenario. You could have a custom setting for the way you play Halo and also one for the way you play Forza. And with the app, you can save up to 255 different configurations in your library. And you can load up to two of those at a time onto the controller's memory slots. Simply switch between the two by sliding the profile switch from position one to position two. And all of a sudden, your controller is working completely differently based on the game you want to play. One example where I like to use the different configuration profiles is when I play Call of Duty. So in certain situations where I'm running around with pistols, uh, I want to have uh, better access to grenades and to melee weapons. In that case, I set up the profile for one way. But if I play with a sniper rifle, I'll use uh, different thumbstick sensitivities that let me aim down the scope uh, with more control, but then I have still quick reaction time if there's someone creeping up behind me. In each configuration profile you create, you can map buttons and paddles to be just the way you want them. Choose from 14 different digital inputs for each button or paddle. You can also have multiple buttons on the controller do the same thing if you wanted. For example, you could use either a bumper or one of the paddles to throw a grenade if you're playing Halo. You can map buttons one by one if you're changing just a couple of settings. Or you can use the advanced settings to review and remap multiple buttons at a glance. Another way to personalize the controller is by editing thumbstick sensitivities. This lets you fine tune how physical movement of the thumbsticks translates to on-screen movement and control. You can select between pre-built sensitivity curves or create your own. So the app also gives you the opportunity to further customize your triggers to maximize responsiveness. Normally, with the standard controller setup, you have to squeeze the trigger all the way down to get a 100% trigger output. But with the app, you can change that such that you get 100% output even with the slightest squeeze of the trigger. Another benefit of the app is that you can set it up to add a little bit of intentional dead zone to the triggers. One reason why you might want that is to help fine tune the trigger on a weapon that you don't want to misfire accidentally. One thing that we know that fans are really going to appreciate is the ability to turn down the motor intensity. So the app gives you four individual sliders to turn down the motors that are in the grips and that are in the triggers. On top of that, you can adjust the brightness of the Xbox button. And you can swap the right and left thumbsticks. So as you can see, the app gives you an almost unlimited amount of ways to customize the controller. But if you want a simpler setup, you will also have the option to choose among pre-built configuration profiles uh, that are set up directly by the game developers themselves. We didn't anticipate the amount of excitement that fans would have for this. We knew internally and through our testing and research that the product would resonate well with fans and we thought maybe the, the top one, two percent of gamers would really be excited by it. But being at the Galen Center and watching the unveil and hearing the crowd roar and then watching our Sizzle video that's on YouTube get it to a million views has been really exciting personally to see that we've created a product that's gonna touch the lives of a lot of gamers.